Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing good. So I get a lot of comments seeking help while setting up the project. As while you are setting up your project, you get uh, some errors, right? So first of all, look, uh, you need to watch each part of the series and then start working on the project. As many things that you are missing while setting up your project and you are getting errors are already been discussed and already been told that these are prerequisites while setting up the project. So you should watch the complete series first and then uh, you should uh, take the check out of the project and start working on it. But still, I'll tell you a way to identify the problem that you face using application logs in this video. So I'll tell you that how you can read application logs and identify the issue and then fix it and then run your application again. But before jumping into the video, I would request you that if you get to learn from my videos, so please like comment on the video and share video among your contacts. And if new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. I've discussed in the previous video as well that how you can fruitfully use logging right in your applications and uh, while you are working on some transactions, if there is a break in a transaction, you can log into your log and you will be able to identify that what error has come and where your transaction broke right so i'll take a very uh, simple example uh, in this video that has been faced by many users right and many comments have uh, come and some have even mailed me that okay this is the problem they are facing so the issue is that while setting up a project you register a user right you going uh, i'll talk about bus reservation system that i made right so we'll talk about uh, in perspective of that only that when you are uh, taking the checkout of the project and then setting up that project and start running the project so what happens is uh, when you uh, go on the endpoint of slash registration the form opens and you uh, fill in the details you select the role of the user and submit it right and then you are being redirected to the login page right and when you enter your email id and password to log in then it doesn't allow you to log in exception comes on your screen right so you can see that this is the exception illegal state exception it is not so clear exception logged because it is a very uh, old project that i made so we'll rectify this uh, also in some other video so uh, this is the exception that has been logged when you try to log in right so i'll uh, in front of you i'll take the checkout of the project and we'll, we'll do a fresh setup uh, from my git repository and then we'll uh, come across this particular exception that you people face and then from reading the logs we'll identify that what problem came and at what point and uh, on which line of the code this problem came and then we'll identify the solution right so let us go to the git repository right and i'll take the checkout of bus reservation complete project as uh, many people uh, comment on this uh, video only that okay we are facing this problem so i'll take the checkout of this particular code so let me copy the link of the code and let me let me uh, take a checkout here so let's go and do git bash here let me clone it so i'll say git clone and let me paste the URL. So this is the bus reservation complete project uh, checkout that I'm taking right now. So the checkout is done. I have the code. Let me go to my ID and let me import the project. So let me import it. Existing Maven project. Next. Let me select the project from my repository. My project and uh, I'll finish it up. So the project is getting imported. So my project is imported now. So let us see the uh, directory structure of the project. So, okay. So I usually use uh, Postgres database, but today I'll use my, so I have changed the properties to MySQL from uh, Postgres database. So uh, let me tell you, I'm using tested DB uh, schema. So you can see that this tested db schema doesn't have any table structure. So we are setting up fresh, right? 
so now let me uh, as my properties are done uh, let me go in my main class and let me start my project right so this is the basic setup that has been required right so i have added the properties in my property file and let me now run my code so let me run the code okay driver class okay yes uh, i haven't added the my sql property in my pom.xml so first of all let me uncomment my uh, my sql property for driver first because i am you uh, when i pushed this project it was on postgres right so let me uncomment this so i have uncommented this and let me comment my postgres so now you can see and my application is up it's up and running right so my application is up and running let me go to the browser and let me say localhost 8080 slash registration right so this is my endpoint for registration page for bus reservation system so let me enter a name uh, let's say raman and uh, let me enter a uh, email id right and let me enter a password as 1 2 3 4 5 right and the user as admin right so people say that okay i have made an admin user that's why it is not working let me click on registrate so i have the entry of the user as an admin right so what i have to do is now i have to enter the email id and i have to enter my password 1 2 3 4 5 so let me click on login so it says white label error why why white label error right so now you have to identify that where your code is getting break so let's go into the these are my console logs right so let me make it full screen so these are my console logs now go up and first identify that is there any class in your logs is there any class that has been logged in your logs that is in your code right that the class is in your code right so uh, it says illegal state exception and null and now it says that the error has come on custom success handler and the li uh, line number is 36 right so how you get to know that this is your project file you see the package right so it says com.ra.busbooking.config custom success handler on authentication success right so this is my uh, project package so here the code is being getting broke so first of all click on this file it will exactly take you to the point where it is getting break okay now it has taken me to the code and it say is that okay your code is breaking here so now let's backtrack that how come the flow could come here right i said that okay if redirect url is null then only through illegal state exception right so how come uh, redirect url could be null because i have entered the email id and password right and the user was of admin user so now i have to backtrack that why this uh, redirect url doesn't have any value so the value of redirect url has been set in this if and else conditions right so now first if condition says that if you are granted authority is equal to user then redirect you, uh, url should be of slash dashboard and if the granted authority contains the uh, role as admin then the redirect url url should be slash admin screen right so our uh, end result of logging should be slash admin screen for this particular case right but it it didn't happen why because the granted authority didn't have value right Th that we can conclude that if this if and else are not been executed and it is directly going here then our granted authority didn't have value so how come our granted authority didn't have value so now from where this call comes so this call comes from our service right now i'll see uh, now you'll say how come uh, the call comes from service so when we click on uh, submit of the login so it goes in slash login uh, controller right so it goes in slash login controller and then it goes in the service part and it says that load user by username and load user by username is in the user service and the user service is default user service so default user service implementation and we go in the load user by username method so it is loading the user by username our user and password is correct but our user is present but what is missing so let's go into the database and identify first so our tables are made now 
so let's go in the user table first let me go and query it so our result says that the id is one email id is this and password uh, name is this and password is this there should be a mapping with the id right so let's go and select all statements here for the role and let's click and let's run the code so there is no entry with the customer id and the role id but why but when we are registering a user with a particular role there should be an entry here that okay this customer is being this customer id is being registered with this role id so let's go in the role table first is there any entry? so yes the role table says there is no entry here identification of the problem might be that okay role is not present that's why the user is not being mapped with any role and that's why it is not able to identify that which user is logging in is it an admin user or is it a user role with the user right so now let's go in the code again and let's see that okay when we register the code then what call comes so let's go in the registration controller and when we uh, click on slash register and when we submit the form so it uh, takes us to the user service save method so let's go again in the user service and let's see the save method so this is my save method right so it says that if the user registration DTO has a role as user then fetch from the database the role the role with the name as user right but there is no entry in the table for the user and admin entries in the table right so if there is no entry then this role would be empty if this role is empty then for that particular user the role is set to be empty and if that role is set to be empty then your user and role mapping table is empty this is the basic problem that is coming right so i have also mentioned in my video also that this is the prerequisite that a user role and an admin role entry should be there in your role table then only the mapping would be made between user and role table and then you can uh, then the code can identify that uh, you are logging from admin user or from user right so now uh, we have identified the problem that okay role table didn't have any entry right so that's why we are uh, getting this particular error so now let's go in the table and i'll say that okay i need to insert so i need an insert statement here so i'll say that okay uh, my id is one and my role is my role is admin right so i'll say that okay my give me this entry so my one entry is being made and now let me do the second entry as user right so let me say user so let me select this and submit it so now let's uh, select all the entries so now we have two entries uh, one with id1 and the role is admin id2 and the role is user right so what will happen now let's start with a fresh right so there is no mapping with the user table right so let now i'll drop user role table right and then i'll drop user table so my user table is also dropped right so now uh, what i'll do is i'll run my application again so when i run my application again a fresh table of user and user role mapping would be made and then we'll start again with registering the user and then start uh, logging from the user. Then we'll see that there is an entry with that particular use customer ID or user ID with that particular use, uh, role. So now my server is getting started and my application is up, up and running, right? So now let's go again with slash registration, right? So let me enter again my name Raman and my email ID and password as one two three four five and user role submitted so now my uh, user is being registered right so let me go in the table and let me select the select all statements right now let me select all and let me run this query so it says that the id is two email id is this name is this and password is this so id is two now let's uh, go in the role table and let me select the role table first and let me see that where what entries it has 
so it has the entries of admin and user and the admin role is id 1 right we have made a uh, we have registered a user with the role as admin so the mapping would be that the role id is 1 and the customer id is 2 so let me select the query yes the customer id is 2 and the role id is 1 now the mapping is being made so now let me let me log in from that particular user so let me log in and let me say 1 2 3 4 5 and let me click on login so yes we have successfully resolved the problem looking at the logs right so this is how you can read the logs and you can identify the problem and you can resolve that problems right and it is a very best practice that you should know how to study logs right a very small example that we covered that uh, while setting up new projects so you should know that how you can identify that where the problem could be and how you can resolve those problems so this was it from this video hope that you people might learn uh, from this video please like share and comment on this video and if new to the channel please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning